Now, Irukandji is the name of the local indigenous tribe here, and it was a name picked out by uh, uh, one of the local guys here that was working many, many years ago on, on these jellyfish. And they knew that these people were coming out of the water with this, what they termed Irukandji syndrome. And that tended to be, you know, someone was swimming, they'd get out of the water and they'd start to feel ill, nausea, stomach cramps, lots of pain, vomiting. If it all went bad, they'd end up with, you know, heart damage and things of that nature. And it wasn't until sort of the, the mid-60s, and a bloke by the name of Jack Barnes, who was a, a, a GP based here in Cairns, came up with this really smart idea and figured out that it was a jellyfish that was doing it. And the story goes that he found a jellyfish down in Palm Cove, rubbed it on his arm, rubbed it on his son's arm, rubbed it on the lifeguard's arm. 20 minutes later, all three of them came down with the Rikanji syndrome. It's the size of your thumbnail. It's got four tentacles that are really thin. They're hair-like. You can't see them in the water. You screw up, you come in contact with them, you're off to hospital. So you don't get a second chance.